welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your host Felicia and Rowena. And today we're going to be talking all about the skin, the scalp, and our hair. <laughs> Most of the time, I think we're just frustrated with it because we're all collectively at a loss with what to do with it. And it kind of just falls into two categories. It's either dirty and greasy, so it's up, or you put a little bit of effort and it's clean, and it goes down. <laughs> or we're just battling frizziness, split ends, or flat, lifeless hair hair. Makes you just want to cut it all off sometimes, right? Like how I asked if I should just go bald and wear it. Well, should I cut my hair short? Five years later, still the same question. But there is so much more to our hair and our scalp and our skin and most of it we didn't even know about until we dove deep into research for this video. So we partnered up with Bria Gio and in this video we're going to bring you guys what you need to achieve healthy, shiny and perfect looking hair, yeah. but also skin. Because yeah. the thing with scalp and skin, it's all very interconnected, like the ingredients that we use, but also the process in which the skin develops and all that, so it's very interesting. Yes. <laughs> they have a whole range of clean hair, skin, and wellness products. Some of them just launched and we've been using them, so we're gonna tell you our thoughts and also share with you guys the important do's and don'ts when it comes to shampooing, conditioning, and general skin and hair health. Do you think singing in in the shower helps your hair grow. Absolutely. <laughs> Does it? No, I was just thinking like <laughs> Wagyu cows. <laughs> and they're also offering all you beautiful people a 20% discount. So if you see something in this video that you totally vibe with, you can keep that in mind and you can check out all the details in the description below. So today we're going to go into all the cool and quirky things about hair, from how our hair grows to how our hair falls out and why it falls out. Because <laughs> every day in the shower I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Like this. What is going on? It's like Geronimo! <laughs> on top of that, we'll be sharing skincare tips with some of the multi-purpose products and show you guys how you can use natural ingredients to spot treat and nourish our skin back to life when it's feeling a little low and it needed some TLC. So let's start off with... What, what is, is hair? hair? First of all, if you haven't realized, hair grows everywhere on our bodies. Mm -hmm. Well, except for two places. Mm -hmm. The palms of our hands and the soles of our feet. Our scalps are home to the densest and longest type of hair, and we have an average of between 100,000 to 150,000 strands of hair on our head. So let's get a little deeper. And believe us, it goes <laughs> way deep. Well, not that deep, just dermis layer deep. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from the root, our hair lies in the dermis layer of our skin, which is the second deepest layer of our skin, and grows up and out through the epidermis. <laughs> At the very bottom of the root is the bulb. So cute! <laughs> and it really does just look like the bottom white part of a yeah. spring onion. It like goes out like, like this, what? and then it's got the roots that like go down. <laughs> and the bulb is connected to a network of connective <laughs> tissues blood capillaries, and also nerve endings, which all lie at the very base of our hair follicles. So this is how our hair gets all the nutrients to keep it healthy, and it's also the reason why it hurts when you pluck out a hair. No, when you put, you you'd actually do see that. It's yeah, like a little the white, white and like So that's why the root or the follicle of our hair is the most important, and it needs a lot of nutrients and minerals from things like the food we eat, especially omega-6, 9, and also biotin, which we'll talk about later to fuel the growth of those deeper layers in our scalp. If not, it doesn't get enough food or even if we get into deep and extended levels of stress, it can contract the scalp and cut off blood flow, leading to things like hair loss or hair that doesn't have enough nutrients. Mm. So anyway, eventually the bulb pushes out the keratin and hair grows and grows to eventually push through the epidermis and emerge from the skin to become a hair shaft. And what's the hair shaft, you ask? It's basically this. <laughs> <laughs> like Little Mermaid with a like fork. <laughs> and on its way through the scalp, the sebaceous glands coats the hair shaft with sebum and lubricates it and gives it that natural shine and protection. Cool, right? But moving on, some of you might have heard that our hair is just dead. And this is true, because it goes through a process called keratinization. 
these strands don't have any blood running through them and they don't have nerves or muscles. 100% did. Now that we understand how hair grows, you might think, well, what about those times when my hair falls out or I'm starting to notice my hair thinning? What does this mean? Let's break it down a little more and then we'll really appreciate how things like shampoos and conditioners and all those products that we use really work to treat these magical strands of dead keratin cells. Our hair has a three-phase cycle. Phase one, it's called anagen. And it's where probably 80 to 90% of the hair on our head is currently in. And that's because this phase can range from about one or two to seven years. And it all starts in the hair follicle or the root and it just keeps growing and growing. In phase two, this is the catechin stage, which lasts just about two to three weeks. It's here that your skin signals to the hair something like, hey, you haven't paid rent for the last seven years. We're gonna start evicting you soon. Then the hair panics and decides it's time to move on and stops growing because it needs to move out. So the hair begins to detach itself from the hair bulb, which cuts off all the blood supply and the nutrients that it once had, taking us to now stage three. Third and final stage is the telogen phase, where your hair essentially leaves the building and falls dramatically to live out the remainder of its days on the cold, hard bathroom floor. That's such a visual. <laughs> Hi. And then as it goes down, hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> and so back to the dermis, the cycle starts all over again. And it's perfectly normal to lose 50 to 100 strands a day, which at this point doesn't sound like that much at all, considering we have at least 100,000 hairs on our heads at one time. So yeah, don't be dramatic. All right, time for shampoos. Let's bring it on. <laughs> So these are the Briogeo hair products, but as well as that, we're going to mention the skin, eyelash, eyebrow, multi-purpose oils, and they also have the supplements. But first, we're going to jump into shampoos. We have to first talk about hair types and scalp types, and man, does every person vary here. Okay, so like, I think you can definitely relate to either one of us or like somewhere in between, yeah. right? Because we're polar opposites. Every part and crevice of my body is dry. If you have dry skin genetically, you'll have dry scalp yeah. and literally everything because that's yeah genetic sense same for oily if you have oily it's oily and in the changing of the seasons it gets extra flaky which i think it happens to you too mm. oh but flaky scalp and dandruff uh could be two separate things which we talk about a little later so that's my scalp mm. My hair, it's very uncommon for this ethnicity to have my type of hair type. Like the top crown is just straight mm. and smooth. Mm. The mid crown is like tight frizzes. And it's thick. And it's thick. Her front bang section is my entire head. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. And then down here is just nice, like beautiful waves. Mm. But I when you don't style it, what does it look like? Is it it's coarse? coarse, it's frizzy, and it's very unruly mm. and dry. Mine is like kind of the other polar opposite. It's it's not thin, it's like normal, um, but it's also dead straight. It's almost kind of too silky for its own good. But I also have a very oily scalp, which I have to wash every day. Yeah. And we're gonna be talking about kind of like the tips that you always hear, like you shouldn't wash every day. Um, <laughs> but if I followed those tips, <laughs> I would just turn into a big fungal mushroom. <laughs> no, because she can go with like a week without washing her hair and it's fine. On day two or three, if I don't, my scalp turns to like cheddar cheese. So you can probably relate to either of us. So with the shampoos, you definitely want to find something that's catered to your, uh, your scalp type and also your hair type. So let's start off with their scalp revival range. So it comes with the charcoal coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. Yeah. She's so excited about charcoal. I'm so excited, She's honestly. So excited. Okay, so charcoal and coconut oil and tea tree are the three main active ingredients in the scalp revival line and they have a bunch of products that we'll talk about later. It's called Binchotan charcoal, which is a very unique and special type that comes from a region in Japan called Kishu. 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 Aww. <laughs> Anyway, so how Binjotan is created is by slowly burning holm, which is a very resistant kind of oak tree at very high temperatures between 1,000 and 1,000 
300 degrees Celsius. It's hot, burning hot. <laughs> the high burning temperature ensures the wood becomes very pure and porous. And it's the porousness that helps attract oil. And there's also a simple electromagnetic attraction. You and your electromagnetic attractions, yes. man. And the fact that each Binchotan branch is covered with billions of pores makes it all the more efficient in helping to attract the oils and everything on our scalp when it's formulated in the shampoo. And we're gonna show you a little footage of how it works. So they pretty much mix uh, charcoal, the Binchotan charcoal powder in water, and then they use another beaker where there's um, oil in it, and then they put the powder in and it completely soaks it all up. So what I find with this is because there's also tea tree, which is antifungal, it's an antiseptic that's been used for a really long time. It gives that minty feeling and it refresh yeah because even so she used it but it really helps to take away the debris and you know on that second day of not washing hair it yeah. really refreshes it ah. not just physically but like the feeling so it smells so good peppermint oh, white chocolate, chocolate mocha, mocha. Yeah. yeah it smells like christmas it does. oh my gosh that's true yes so it's the tea tree and the peppermint that gives that really fresh zinging feeling to the scalp, but even on areas that I feel like were really sensitive, mm. it didn't burn or anything like that. So it's very comforting. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so for like ever, people know the, the benefits of using yeah. coconut oil as a mask and things like that. But what's cool is that one of the biggest damages to any of our hair is the swelling that goes on on each strand when we enter the shower because of water, yeah. right? So then each strand expands to take in water, but when it dries or when we um, like blow dry it, it has to contract again. So it's that expand and contract that actually causes damage. Oh, so what coconut oil does is it creates that lubricating coat that it doesn't stop water from going in, but it kind of protects yeah. the whole hair shaft. So this not only protects the hair, but it also soothes the scalp, but also moisturizes the strands. And I personally love this, holy moly. Even just using it as someone who doesn't have oily hair, it's so refreshing. It's like you go in, your, your scalp is going into a spa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every shampoo is formulated differently, whether it's normal drugstore type or ones that are sulfate free, but they will always contain some kind of surfactant because surfactants are the ingredients that can lift and remove the buildup of oils, dirt and bacteria on our scalp and hair, especially in the roots. Mm -hmm. And it's the surfactant molecules with an oil attracting head and a water attracting tail that binds together to form my cells. This works to carry away the oils that are on our hair and scalp. And if you're thinking, my cell water, Yep, this is exactly the same principle. In the Brio Geo, because they're sulfate free, they contain a milder, gentler surfactant, which is either derived from coconuts or plants. <laughs> So now for your dry parched hair folks, just like skin, let's talk about the Matcha Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo. So the very first thing, if you're like, oh, this looks very familiar. Yeah. It looks like a juice bottle. Well, yes, you are right. So this shampoo is a very, very nutrient dense shampoo inspired by green juices, exactly. And if you look at the ingredients on the back, there's spinach leaf extract, there's broccoli extract, apple fruit extract, cucumber extract, lemon extract. Mm -hmm. There's also grapefruit, orange, beet. Most of these are all on the top. It's like yeah. on the terp, top, terp. Terp, terp half of the ingredient list. So yeah. this is super gentle. It's super clean. It smells like you are just bathing in a sweet green juice. I mean, this is like kind of detoxifying. Yeah. And then on in days in between, this mm -hmm. is really nice. And I found like it was so shiny yeah. for my hair. Yeah, it is. the day after. Was so the thing is, I feel like most cleaner shampoos, they don't froth and foam as mm. much because they don't use SLS or SLES. Yeah. But this one, it like, I'm showering, it's getting bubbly. So if you like that effect and if you mm. want that, but also want clean sulfate free shampoos, this is a very, very good option. And it does leave my hair very shiny. Like I think some people put a lot of shampoo. Do you want to concentrate on the scalp, right? So what I do is like, I like massaging into my crown. Mm -hmm. 
and then having the water like drip down and then I'll like kind of just like spread the rest yeah. to the mid lengths yeah. and roots. Yeah. This one's probably more of like a general shampoo yes. that would kind of work over the span of anyone who has dull lifeless hair. Um, this one is just more catered to the oily type. Now that we cover shampoo, let's move on to conditioners. If we were to look at our hairs under the microscope, your hair is flaky looking and these flaky tiles are dead skin cells that overlap to form the outside cuticle layers of our hair which protects the more fragile inner layers. Mm -hmm. So if you were to cut it across like this and then look at it, it kind of looks like um, a swirl cake, you know, it's got cream inside. So when light hits and reflects off this cuticle layer, it gives our hair that natural shiny effect. So your hair will look its best and healthiest when the overlapping cuticle flakes are lying closely, like we said before, and tightly against each other. On the other hand, when our hair is looking frizzy or dull, it doesn't just make it seem like you went off the rails in life a little, but it means the cuticle layer is flapping around everywhere and the overlapping cells aren't placed in the orderly way that it should be. It's kind of like our our skin cells. It's exactly like our skin yeah. cells. So conditioners come in and the main component of a conditioner is the cationic surfactant, like cetyl alcohol for example, which works to bring the cuticle layer back to normal and it works kind of like a magnet where the positive charge of the surfactant is attracted to the negative charge of our hair because when our hair is wet, it's negatively charged. Mm. Yeah. This attraction is so strong that the surfactants completely surround our strands of hair and cover the cuticle flakes so that they fall tightly against each other again, which is why even after you rinse out the hair conditioner, our hair feels very, very smooth. So this, very similar to the shampoo. There hair, can't yeah. tell. <laughs> this has kale and apple, which is also equally as high in antioxidants. And the difference between conditioners and shampoos is that conditioners tend to have more nourishing oils mm -hmm. to help coat the strands. For this one specifically, there's avocado oil, sweet almond oil, and sea berry. A lot of the ingredients I find um, in it, you could take a pot and just use that. You know, like people put olive oil yeah. in their hair, or you can put avocado oil or even yeah. coconut oil because every Everyone's moving into like a cleaner way of living, you know, clean skincare, clean hair care is a very kind of underrated thing. The way that I like using conditioners is to not really put it too much into the root. It's like starting from maybe like mid, mid, length. mid length and then just brushing it down, focusing on the ends. Mm. And then when I rinse it out, I try to turn the water colder. Especially if you have oily hair, you don't want to concentrate any of that kind of up here because you already have enough. There's enough oils and nutrients here. Yeah. <laughs> Naturally coating it. Here's another thing. If you get any sort of body acne, just like wash your back after conditioning because a lot of that is stuck. Yeah. To go with the charcoal, there's also a jelly conditioner. You know how we love gel or jelly consistency like face washes? This is a jelly consistency conditioner, which I think is just like, ah, so awesome. Come true. Yeah, but it's like a milky jelly um, and it's really lightweight. It conditions the hair so it doesn't add any extra weight. It also doesn't add any extra oils for oily hair. And it's got that peppermint, it's got the spearmint and that tingle. So they just combine like perfectly together for that refreshing showered feeling like you came out of a spa or something. Um, so those two are really good. But then this one, did you try this one? I did. Mm. And how was it? My hair is just so dry that the deep conditioning didn't deep condition enough. Mmm, not enough. But this was super deep conditioning <laughs> for my like normal yeah. flat hair. You just use it the same way as a conditioner. It's just in this tub. But I just really love the smell. It's more like woody floral. Mmm, yes, woody floral. Who would have thought those two <laughs> scents together? And as with any of the products, there's no sulfate, silicones, or parabens. This is part of the do not despair repair. So if you have split ends, I think, if your hair isn't especially thick and coarse, if it's kind of just like, I guess, normal hair, then this will work great as well. So part of the scalp revival line, there's also this dandruff care beautiful little charcoal dropper. Yeah. So the main ingredient is charcoal and tea tree. Tea tree has is multi-purpose, multifunctional, but on the scalp and on the skin, you use it a little bit differently. Let's talk about dandruff. Dandruff is related to the yeast Pitarus porum oval. Sounds like a 
probably butchered it, but P.O. ball, okay, for sanity's sake. How tea tree helps with dandruff is that it has antifungal properties with the ability to fight against P.O. ball. In a study conducted to see how the effects of tea tree could help with scalp health, they found that 5% shampoos that have this ingredient given to those with dandruff showed about 41% improvement in the level of scaliness, itchiness, and also greasiness compared to the 11% that was given a placebo. But if you have really severe cases, then there's also like medicated, you know, like- um, You need to go see a dermatologist yeah. or a doctor. So I have like weird zones of dandruff. One is here where I have a parting, but also like here it gets really scary. <laughs> and it goes down to your ears. Yeah, my like sideburns. So what I did or what you do is you drop a few drops, one to two, and then kind of rub it into your scalp. I tested this on the days that I didn't use it and then the days that I did, it was definitely relieved of the scaliness. Ooh. Yeah, it was really weird. So it wasn't even flaky. Yeah, and it wasn't itchy. It's normally I start picking at it. Uh. I don't know why, this is probably why I'm gonna have a bald spot here sometime. <laughs> it has that tingle mm -hmm. and I use this after I come out of the shower and it's not greasy. You need to shake it. You do. You shake it and then put one to two drops. And you can put this anywhere on your scalp region that you feel like is itchy and it will just help soothe with that. And it's also got that Bento Chan charcoal which helps to absorb the oil. The last product in their scalp revival is the charcoal biotin dry shampoo. So biotin is known for its ability to help with hair health. You twist it and then you kind of push the air out and it spurts the powder. Yeah, and what I realized this compared to a lot of other dry shampoos like from the drugstore that I've tried, like literally all of them. She is a dry shampoo queen. Yes, although it does irritate my scalp sometimes because the buildup, mm. the buildup of products causes irritation. Oh. So the powder in this is much finer. It doesn't irritate my scalp as much because it's also got witch hazel extract and bamboo and biotin. All of that works together to absorb the excess oils in between washes. I wouldn't recommend depending on things like this, like over multiple yeah. days. So this is really good. What I use after the shower is the Brio Geo Farewell Frizz Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. For this one, I like, again, starting from mid length all the way down, focusing on the roots and I'll do like one, two, three. After shower? One, two, three. Damp after shower, hair. yeah. After shower on damp hair. And you can let it either air dry or you can blow dry it. I generally like blow drying my hair because Asian mothers, you're gonna get sick if you don't blow dry your hair. So I'm like, yeah, plus who has like four hours before yeah, they sleep to my hair? Yeah. It's like, it's thick. Yeah. Like if I go to sleep with it half dried, it's still wet in the morning. Oh, oh my God, I hate that feeling of damp scalp and hair. That's another tip. If you want your body and I guess your scalp to be healthy, mm. don't go to sleep with damp scalp. For this, mid to end length and then blow dry it and it's very smooth, very glossy. So then moving on to like the Be Well line, which yes. is pretty new. I love it because it's multi-purpose. Look at how cute it is. I know! This is the 100% organic Australian tea tree oil. How you use tea tree, you need to dilute it with a carrier oil or water. Yes. And what I like doing is putting it on my palms and then I'll just like leave the sink running a little with mm. a little bit of water, not yeah. too much, because I don't want to waste water. And I'll just like go like this. Yeah. It's really good for refreshing your scalp and mm. I think it really helps with soothing the flakiness mm. and also dandruff. How I use that one, because it's multi-purpose. Mm. And fun fact, tea tree is a Australian native. I use it for spot treating. So yes, you want a carry oil, otherwise it will burn your face, people. <laughs> oh, so you use it for your face? Yeah. I use it for my scalp. Mm. No, it's multi-purpose, you can. You can also um, add it into your shampoos. Ah. So if you don't already have a slightly tingly, refreshing shampoo, you can add a few drops into that and then work it in. So it's really cool. But because it's antifungal, antimicrobial, it can help kill the bacteria on your skin. I'll mix it with like a jojoba oil or rosehip oil, just a little drop and then you get like a Q-tip and then just like spot treat. It really helps calm down inflammation, redness and gives it that like um, zing feeling. Just make sure you don't use this alone. So this is awesome. And then castor oil. Yes. Look at how beautiful this color is. This bottle and this. 
It's so cute. I know. This one is 100% organic cold pressed castor oil. And castor oil is extracted from the castor bean seed, which is rich in essential fatty acids, nutrients, and minerals. Everything that we need for the hair and the skin, which is why this is multi purpose. The reason you'll hear certain things are cold pressed, like olive oils, is because by using this method, it maintains the integrity of the oil because the nutrients and trace elements are preserved much better in the process as yeah. opposed to if you're using heat. So it's kind of like, you know how people use jojoba oil on their yeah. eyelashes? I love using it to take off makeup and it helps your, it made it grow thicker and fuller. So what I do with this, a little hack, I use this on my eyebrows because I mix this into the pomade. Ooh. Yeah, so it's not like a treatment, it's yeah. a two in one. Wow. <laughs> but when you go like this, does it come off? No, because it's waterproof. Oh. That is some solid stuff. But if you wanted to use it as like a lash, you can either get those ones, the mascara yeah. ones, and apply it, or you can use it on a Q-tip on your lashes. Yeah, I like using it as a Q-tip and gently like rolling it. Oh yeah. Like gently let it like, like, gotta coat that. Yeah. Very, very gentle, because it's like, you're precious. I don't want you to fall. <laughs> <laughs> and also what I do is use it on my dry elbows. Your oh weenus. my, my weenus. That is just the funniest name. So you will find the texture. Yeah. It's not like, it's very thick. Yeah, thicker than your normal oil, um, but it's not sticky. No, after I blow dry my hair, sometimes it's just like, you know when it's very humid yeah. and your hair is just very uncooperative and the ends are just like <laughs> It literally is like, cause I have layers mm -hmm. and you know how normal hair is like, it falls nicely. It's like, it goes out like this in Friends. layers, yeah. Mm. And I just like, I need to do something about it. Castor oil, let's try this. Yeah. Instantly it's like, oh. So this is, <laughs> this is how hair is supposed to look. <laughs> but also cuticles. In the winter, oh, yeah. they can like peel. Yes. Or if you cut the cuticles, you know, the skin's just flapping mm -hmm. around. So you can use it for that. So if you weren't looking for shampoos or any of the products that we mentioned, but some of you asked about supplements and they have the Be Well Vegan Omega 3, 6, 9 and Biotin. We all need healthy fatty acids from like fatty fish and nice. nuts. Um, yeah, even like, you know, you get micronutrients from fruits and vegetables and everything like that. So supplements are a way to top off. It's not to replace your food, but to give it a little boost. Enhance. Mm -hmm. And biotin has been known to help with healthy growing hair. And nails mm -hmm. and eyelashes and all things that grow on your body. Yeah. So this one, it's funny. It is all plant-based, mm. but like when you smell this, it smells like the sea, <laughs> like seaweed. Oh. It smells like um, miso soup. Yes. <laughs> it, it's like Japan in here. Yeah. <laughs> if you have like thinning hair, if you have sparse hair, if you have hair that falls out, this is an indicator that something might be a little mm. off with your diet. So supplementing and using these kind of supplements could definitely help with that. But also just keep in mind that it's about your diet. I like eating gummies because they're sweet oh. with like collagen and vitamin C. Mm. Supplements, I like taking chlorella in its purest form. It's oh, great green for things. detoxing, yeah. The thing with gummies, I feel like it's a little bit too sweet yeah. and it gets stuck in my teeth and then yeah. they start to hurt. Yeah. But with these, you know you're just, you're just getting what health. you need. Yeah, health. <laughs> so that was our video all about hair health, scalp health. It's funny because it's very similar to our skin. But our bodies, it just it, the way that it works is so cool. Yeah. So if there's anything that you guys liked from this line and if you're like, hmm, I want to try one or two or a few more of these items, yeah. you can get it for 20% off from Briogeo by using the code BEAUTY20. Yeah, and you can obviously get it at Sephora as well, but the code only applies on this site. So, perfect time to try. I really like the charcoal ones and the tea tree because it's just fabs. So if you guys like hair or any of these other topics kind of stemming from skincare, let us know in the comments. And thank you Brio Gio for sponsoring this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs>